That's very disturbing somehow that we behave in a moral way, but you know, if we have the slightest, slightest excuse, we stop doing so. If physical cash disappears uh, and is replaced by digital uh, currencies, is anonymity going to be preserved uh, for, for the good or for bad? And what are the consequences on privacy and data markets? ESG performance and especially decarbonization is a cost and it's a cost with no quick return on investment. Legal scholars say that the law is not just a set of incentive and sanction, but it's also expressive in the sense that it's going to reflect societal values. It's very interesting to see that emerging countries are much ahead of the, of the US or even the euro area uh, because they have, to some extent, uh, leapfrogged to the, to the new generation of uh, payment system. And I think this is really key um, to help give transparency, to help understand so that everybody, and especially the shareholders, understand the, uh, the challenge. Comparability is core uh, for investors because they need to have this comparability by using an international standard, which is exactly what we provide them with. Shareholder dialogue is a way to, to talk about uh, themes which are not covered by data. And I have three in mind where it's very difficult to have a, a coherent data across the board. So in order to compare companies, it's biodiversity, uh, human rights, and um, net zero trajectories. Why we have a social responsibility? And, you know, the answer is simply that not only the market fails, but the governments fail as well, and as badly as the markets. I'm not sure that in the long run, many cryptocurrencies can survive. <laughs>